Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabook.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin in the United States. Today, the Totally Technique design team is going to be sharing blocking cards. This is a fun fold technique that looks super hard and it's very spectacular. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Anybody can make this. I'm also going to be using some brand new products from our upcoming spring mini catalog, Adoring Hearts with a hybrid embossing folder and dies and stamp set, as well as the most adored specialty designer series paper, free with your $50 order during celebration. That starts on January 4th and ends on the 29th of February. Lots of fun new products today. I'm so excited to be able to be using these and sharing them with you. Now don't forget, at the very end of this video is going to be a little box in the top right-hand corner of the screen. And it says, get more details here. That's where you're gonna click. It's gonna take you right to my blog because this is a blog hop. So everyone on the Totally Techniques design team is going to be sharing blocking card ideas with you. And I definitely want you to see a whole variety of different ideas with this Funfold technique. So don't forget to click top right corner, join the blog hop. Also link down below right now, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything coming out. So let's get started. We are going to be using the most adorned specialty designer series paper. You guys, this is free with your $50 order during celebration. That starts on January 4th and goes through the end of February. Look at this beautiful gold foil paper with some really fun Valentine pink, red patterns on the other side. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to get started today right on our block building technique. So we are going to bring in our card base. And our card base is five and a half by ten and a half. We have some scoring and some cutting to do. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I'm so excited to be showing you some new products too. So we are going to score this at three and a half on the long side and seven. And once we have that done, I want to make my folds, okay? So this is gonna be the front and the inside of the card. So we're gonna burnish those edges good with our bone folder. Now, if it just so happens that you have a little shave of a piece sticking out beyond your fold here, just cut it off. We are going to take our card, which looks like this now, and we are going to be cutting this panel. This is gonna be our front and this is our inside. So we're gonna take this panel over here and do some cutting. I'm gonna start right here and we are going to cut a slit that's one and a half inches long at the half inch mark. So I've moved this up to half inch. We're gonna cut a slit that is one and a half inches long. So I'm going to really use this ruler right here to cut up to that one and a half. And we're cutting through both thicknesses of that folded layer. So there's our one and a half. I'm sorry, there's our half inch. Next, we're gonna go to one and three quarters. So one and three quarters. And again, we're cutting that to one and a half. Then we're going to go to two and an eighth. I do have a template where I have these measurements writ written down, and I will share that with you. Two and an eighth. Now three and three eighths. Up to that one and a half inch. Three and three quarters. And five inches. 
This particular technique is so spectacular and it's pretty darn simple. Let's get that cutting blade out of the way. Now I'm gonna push this all the way out to my one and a half inch and we're going to score these big pieces. So we're just gonna score from here to here, from here to here and here to here at one and a half inches. And you don't have to get too picky about this if you don't make the entire score line between your cut lines because it's gonna fold fine. That's what I've found. And I'm pushing it pretty hard. And this is what we look like. I hope you can see that in the camera there. Now, we are going to push the big pieces up and we're gonna keep the small ones down. So how I do that is I put my fingers in between here and I kind of pinch it like that. Now I don't wanna pinch it all the way until I get all three of these kind of worked out of here. See how I'm kind of folded on that score line? Hold on that score line, grab this last one, fold on that score line. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing over here. And here, I'm kind of putting my fingernails in there. All right, now with those up, we're just gonna take this and we're gonna fold it down. That's gonna give you some resistance. Don't be afraid of it. I do recommend that you take a scrap piece of cardstock and do this so that you get a feel for what you're doing. And then it's gonna be super simple. Look at that, how cool is that? Super easy. Now I'm gonna have a photograph of this particular template on my blog, and you can find my blog right here at astampabove.com. And I actually cut this trying to figure out the measurements because most of these block building cards have four, they have four um, panels on them. One, two, three, they have four. This is a four panel. And I wanted a three panel with a little bit bigger blocks on it. So I sat down and figured that out. But these are the measurements if you want to do four panels. And again, they're just cut, they're, those slits are cut one and a half inches. And this is the measurements if, I didn't fold this one out yet, so hang on. <laughs> I never really pushed this one. There we go. Okay, this is the three panel and the measurements there. So pictures of these will be on my blog so you can access them easily. And now we are gonna go crazy and we are going to decorate this. So we have some prep work to do first. I decided to make a Valentine card. So I am going to bring in the adorning hearts with the adorning hearts dies and hybrid embossing folder. These hybrid embossing folders used to scare me, but I pulled up my big girl panties and I just did it and nothing bad happened. They actually work fantastic and now I couldn't be more thrilled with them. So I've got a five and a half inch piece of um, cardstock here. It's real red. I'm going to pop these hearts right off of here. And as you can see, they're smaller hearts for layering in between and then we've got some really neat elements in here and again this is called the adorning hearts dies and hybrid embossing folder you get it all together and it is a, you can get it as a bundle with the adoring adoring hearts did i say adorning i meant adoring adoring hearts stamp set so we're going to take our hearts here and we're going to take that die and we're going to put it in the embossing folder and you can see it clicks right into place. That's what a hybrid embossing folder does. It just clicks right into place over those hearts. And we are going to, now five and a half inches is pretty snug. You can see there's not a lot of room on either side, but I'm only gonna use six of these hearts. So I don't need it to uh, die cut the whole thing perfectly, but I'm gonna try to make it happen and you close this up. 
I'm gonna bring in my machine so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. I am pulling all my cutting plates and my number two plate, which is the really thin plate off of here. And I've got my, I can never remember what this plate is called. Hang on. Specialty plate, specialty plate. It's right here by the die cutting, specialty plate. So you use the specialty plate with the 3D embossing folders, which this definitely is. So I'm gonna put my embossing folder in here. I've always been taught that the, um, the hinge for your embossing folders should go through first. So that's what I'm doing here. It helps with the pressure so that you don't split your hinge. I guess that's the way I wanna put it. This does not roll through exceptionally hard and you would expect it to with a die and an embossing folder in here. Get this out of the way. Okay, watch the magic. Look at that. Your hearts are all embossed and die cut. Let me grab my take your pick tool. My nails are really thick, so it's hard for me to get under there. But how fun are these, you guys? And look at the little hearts that it leaves on this piece. So you could definitely do something with this, cut it and make a panel of four. I've got so many ideas with this, but isn't that cute? Super, super easy. Let's see if I can get these off of here. Good grief. All right, next we are gonna bring in our panels. Oh, I think I wanna do my stamping, a little bit of stamping first. So I decided I was going to use this particular die. And I found that die cutting this first and then stamping it because we are working with a photopolymer stamp is probably the best way to do it. So I'm gonna die cut this. And here comes our little label. I like to do that to get them out. You could also put your piercing end of your, um, take your pick tool in there to pop that out, but I just kind of drop them and they pop right out. And then we're going to do a little embossing. And I thought it would be really pretty. I do want to go with gold. I was deciding, do I want to go with red? Do I want to go with gold? So I'm using the Embossing Buddy from the Editions, the Embossing Editions Toolkit. And we're gonna grab our Versamark ink. We're gonna ink that up and I'm gonna stamp this just for you on here. I know you can't see it, give me just a second. I've got my embossing powder. These are, this, this is from the Metallics line. You get silver, gold, and I think copper in there. All metallic embossing powders. Oops, I missed my J there. There we go. I like to pour my powder in here. For the ones that I use a lot, it just works out pretty good for me, but the um, Embossing Editions Toolkit comes with all these tools and this nice little tray and always close this up before you start up your heat tool. So, because this is really tiny, I love these pliers to be able to hold on to this so I don't burn my fingers. Just gonna tip that in a light a little bit, make sure it's all glossy. If there's anything dull on here, you wanna heat set it just a little bit more. Okay, so we've got that ready. We've got all of our hearts ready. The neat thing as I was looking at these hearts is you could use either side. This is the raised side, this is the debossed side, and they both look great. So, lots of fun there. Okay, this little panel, and we'll go over the dimensions of this in just a second. I'm gonna do some actual stamping on here with my Real Red ink pad. I decided my front is gonna say just for you. And then I'm gonna stamp right on the designer paper. Let me make sure I have that inked up really good. I adore you. 
And then we've got this fun little heart from the Adoring Hearts stamp set. And I'm just gonna stamp, make sure I got that inked up. I'm gonna stamp that right down here. Isn't that pretty? You guys might notice that I'm using a glass mat. This is new and it is a free item when you join my team during celebration, which lasts until the end of February, January 4th through the end of February. You have the option to choose this beautiful glass mat that comes with a silicone pad that you can, I, I've been keeping my stamps on this part. Um, and a, cleaning rag. Wipe this off. It cleans up very nicely. I love the glass mat. If you do not want a glass mat, you can add $30 to your starter kit. So you get $155 in any product you want for $99. Join my team. It's a lot of fun. You'll love it. Any questions, let me know. Okay, the rest of our um, layers here. This is a basic white envelope. Then I've got a piece of real red. This is three and three eighths by five and three eighths. I've got that beautiful designer series paper. This piece is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And remember this, that's where that's coming from, most adorned. And then we've got two real red panels. Both of these are one and seven eighths by five and three eighths you need two of them and then our designer series paper and this is one and three quarters by five and a quarter and of course you can add as many layers to this card as you would like i am going to be layering all of these which is a lot of fun i love layers layers just make your card look so much more spectacular rich doesn't take a lot of effort except cutting it out. And then you have something really, really pretty. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. Now I'm going to make sure that we've got these before I start putting glue on them. I had a little error in judgment earlier and I glued the front panel of my card on to the card base before I did the cutting on the inside as I was testing this out so I would know what I'm doing, right? And I glued it on the wrong side of the card. And I'm like, oh, there's there's your lesson. You don't glue anything together till you're ready to roll, right? So I had to start all over. Do you guys ever do that? Like it's like, oh, I should you should think I would know better, right? It's not my first rodeo doing something like that either. Got really thin margins here, so I just want to make sure that I'm getting these lined up properly. This paper is so cute. Okay, in here, I have cut this designer series paper, and all of these are one and an eighth by one and three eighths, and I'm just going to put them on the panels here. Okay, isn't that fun? Now we can glue our other panels in here. I think before, well, no, I'm gonna put this on. I was gonna say before I do this, I'm gonna decorate it, but I think we're good because we're just going to add the hearts to the front. Okay, you guys, this is how our card goes. Now, the one thing that I found as I was looking at this is this is not four and a quarter. It's a little bit smaller because when I bring my envelope up here, I'm like, oh, look how much room I have there. So could I make my heart stick out a little bit beyond my card? I could if I want. So here we go. I am going to, I, I thought about putting them right here in the middle and then only half of it would be glued over here. And then when you close your card, they're gonna stick out a little bit like that. And I think I, th I think that's a neat idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put glue on half of my heart and I'm going to put 
put it so that the middle of my heart is right on that fold line. Let's see, I've got that one. These are all kind of different, but there's some the same. So I wanna make sure that I'm not using, yep, these are all three different and I like that. So, and this kind of sticks off a little bit, so make sure that you don't get glue up too high on the heart. You don't want that to be popping off of there. And I'm gonna grab this one. Yep, make sure I have this going the right way. Oops, see, I got some glue way up there. I'm just gonna rub that off. I don't know if it'll cause any problems, but I don't wanna take any chances. Okay, you guys, look at that. How fun is that? Ha! Ah, and they do stick out a little bit, so that's okay. All right, then, going to take the rest of these and I was going to mount them just like this. Again, I'm going to rotate. I'm only going to use five of them. Mm, I think I'll do this one. Different, different design on there. So this is what I plan to do. So I can, I've, I've got my dry fit going. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue my hearts on. And then here's my little just for you. I'm going to take that and mount it on dimensionals. These are our mini dimensionals. I love these things. They're just the perfect size. Here comes my just for you. And I think, hmm, in the middle? I think in the middle. I'm gonna go in the middle. I was gonna put it kind of down here, but I think I like that. Last but not least, we need some embellishments. And I'm thinking that these pastel adhesive back sequins will be perfect. And I love the gold that's going to tie in the gold that I've used there. So I am going to bling this little puppy up. In each package comes some small ones and some big ones. Oh, I hear somebody talking to me downstairs. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cute? And then I can write on here, I can sign my name. That's gonna turn out great. I need to do one thing with my envelope here. And let's see, I was thinking, let's do this heart. I think that's gonna be perfect on here. Yep, there we go, you guys. This is a block building Valentine card. Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, if you would like to access all the dimensions and measurements for this, I will have still photos on my blog. You can find that at www.astampabove. I'll put pictures of both of these templates so you'll be able to recreate either a four panel or a three panel card. And if you need a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we've got brand new catalogs coming out. I would love to earn your business. Pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. Give me your address. I'll send you off some brand new catalogs. Our new catalogs, Spring Mini and Celebration, start January 4th. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. Thank you so much for taking a little time out of your day to spend with me. Bye-bye.